it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm very excited for this because we're going to try out this brush. Now, this is by the brand Crown, and it came in a boxy charm, but it's one of those like artiste brushes. It's like a very dense, but yet so soft brush that you use to apply foundation or blush or bronze or whatever it is that you want to do. But yeah, this came in a boxy charm, and I remember like pulling it out in that video that I made. I'll link it down below too if you want to watch it. And just feeling it. And it's so soft. I figured that we would try this out because I know like the name brand Artiste brushes are hella expensive. So if this is like a great dupe and it's, you know, a quarter of the price, then that'd be pretty cool. And I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the color Cream Beige. I'm using this one because I know I love it and I know there's nothing wrong with this foundation. It does nothing weird to my skin. So that's why I'm using this one because this is foolproof because this is what we're really testing. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, I'm going to use my MAC Complete Comfort Cream Moisturizer. I've talked about this several times. I feel like I just talked about it, but I use it as a primer, a moisturizer, um, and everything. Like I only use Dove soap to wash my face with. I don't use any special, you know, creams or oils or anything like that. I use Dove soap and then I go over it morning and night with this matte complete comfort cream because I have eczema on my eyelids. And for some reason, this complete comfort cream is the only thing that doesn't cause it to flare up, I guess, and kind of keeps it from flaring up. You know, I can definitely tell when I haven't used it for a while, a while, gosh, I would say just a couple days because that eczema will start to come back on my eyelids um, and ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm going to go back and watch my video that I did with the BoxyCharm that included this brush because I want to make sure that I'm using it right and that I know what I'm doing. So let's scroll back and see. Here we go. So this was in May's BoxyCharm. Okay, so just watching the video, this brush retails for $24.99. So it says it's really great for sculpting and blending, best used with cream products. So yeah, I'm excited for this though because I've watched so many videos on this. Not this particular brush, but brushes like this, like the set. So if this works, this could be like, you know, major. Now, I usually use a damp beauty sponge so and I really like that so it's gonna be you know interesting to see if this thing can beat that so I'm just supposed to swipe oh okay all right so I'm just gonna do it in circular motions because that's what kind of seems to put the product where I need it. There looks like there's barely anything on that brush. So it's not soaking up the product. I will say using it like this brush, if you could see that, bends a little bit. So I do wish that it were a little firmer. Um, this is pretty cool though. These bristles feel so good. Y'all, I think this is working. Look at that. Um, yeah. Blend it down the neck. I think it's working. Holy moly. It's really spreading the product and blending it. Like, how has this just been sitting on my makeup stand for a month? Y'all. Holy crap. This may be like my new favorite because it's not soaking up barely any of that product. Whereas like a beauty sponge or a beauty blender is going to soak up a lot more product because it's wet. This, I don't see any streaking. I don't see any like splotching or like mist spaces like where foundation should be where I feel like I put it and it's not. Oh my gosh. Well, 
I love too that it comes with a little top so that you're not getting product you know all over the place so the bristles don't come off I don't even see any product on my finger this was like so easy and quick like how long did that take me I've been clocking this time it took me about four minutes so I know it looks a little crazy right now because I don't have anything else on my face but I don't have anywhere to go so I'm not gonna put any more makeup on I just really really wanted to test this out and I'm so impressed I know I keep saying that like I'm so impressed but oh my gosh I mean for 25 bucks yeah yeah $25 I highly highly recommend this brush and if you have a brush like this that's even cheaper that does the exact same thing and you love it comment down below and let me know like tell me the name and where I can find it I feel like I could sit here and just rub my face with it and it's like not taking any of the product off I think I found a new favorite that is a wrap on this video thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you found it helpful hopefully you trust me and you will try this brush because this is like people say the bomb.com anymore I feel like that's what I want to say but people don't say that anymore but this is like legit y'all legit be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe before you leave I will see you all in my next video bye